welcome back to my channel. I'm Sammy Jo. If you're new around here, you're very welcome to stick around. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about reusable wipes. And the brand I'm going to be showing you is from Cheeky Wipes because we love Cheeky Wipes. And I just think it's a really great way and easy way to start. So, I'm going to show you how to set them up, what you do to wash them, and a couple of different options. He's just looking at Daddy who's behind us, like your cheeky boy. Hey? So this is Arthur Boy. He is nine months old now, aren't you? You big pudding. Hey? And we have used cloth nappies on him and reusable wipes from he, the day he was born. But we did mix shoes for a while, uh, so we got used to it. I know plenty of people who start later on when they're like nine months old. Um, it's just never too late to start. So um, I hope this video is helpful. And I've put a link in the description below that will um, take you straight to their website. Come on then, Apple boy, let's show them. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you a really quick and easy way to get started with reusable wipes. I'm going to go through them if you want to use a different alternative to the boxes and if you're using them for hands and faces or for bums. You don't have to use reusable nappies if you're using wipes, cloth wipes for bums. Um, in fact, I would say starting with wipes is probably the easiest way to get started into reusables. Right, okay, so to get started, you're going to need a fresh box and a mucky box. Now, the fresh box, they're pretty self-explanatory. You'll put your wipes in here, what you want to use fresh. So I'm going to just set up, these are the ones that we use for hands and faces. There's not that many in there, so I'm just going to show you this as an example. Um, you can either put them in here and just pour water in if you're just using water. But what I tend to do is fill it up to that first line in the box with water. And then I pop in some essential oils. This is the fresh one that they've already mixed from Cheeky Wipes. It's lavender and chamomile. And I just pop like either three or four, depending on how many wipes I'm putting in there. Give it a bit of a mix and then just pop the wipes in. Now they should just absorb the water really quickly. Um, but you can just turn them over like so. Now that's they're quite pretty saturated there. So what you can do is if there's any excess water in there, you can just squeeze that and tip that out into the sink, but they're actually okay to use for me. And then just close the lid. Then when you're ready to use them, really easy. It's a one hand open as well. So if you've got this stuff, you can just open it with one hand, take one out. Uh, if there is any excess water, you can either squeeze it back into there or squeeze it into the sink, use it. And then you pop it into your mucky box. Okay, ready for our washing. Now what I do with my mucky box to prep it, I'm going to take that out, is again, fill it up with some water. And you can get handy little mesh bags that come with it. So I'll just put one of those in. So this is a little mesh bag and it's really, really good because if you see these little hooks on the inside of the box there, uh, there's one in each corner. On the bag, there is a little space with where you would fit that into. So you fit them over the loops, like so. And then you can tighten that with the little toggle there and it fits in really snug and if you want to use their mucky blend of essential oil that is tea tree and lemon it's really really nice and then you just pop your mucky wipe into there close the lid and then that's just you they just store in there ready for when they need a wash and then What's brilliant about that is then obviously when it's full and you need a, you need to wash them, you don't need to pick all the wipes out. You just undo the toggle, take it out like so, and then you just throw it into your normal wash. Sometimes what I'll do is rinse them off before I store them in the mucky container um, or pop them in the wash for like a 15 minute quick cycle before I then put more washing in like the baby muslins and all the rest of it really quick and really easy now in terms of using wipes for bums 
it's the same process, but I'll just take them out. So I fill it up with water, put some essential oil in. Now I don't, I didn't use essential oils for probably about three or four months. I think they say avoid using essential oils for the first six weeks. Um, if your baby's got a really sore bum, anything like that, it's best to just use water. But if you're just using water, then only put the amount of wipes that you need in for like the day. Um, if you're putting essential oils in, then they'll last for like three days. Right, okay, and then you just put them in. Again, either press them down and leave them or turn them over and they absorb all of that lovely water. And then what I do is, when I've used them, because I'm using cloth nappies anyway, I would just pop them inside the cloth nappy and then into the nappy storage bag. bag. Um, what you can do with these is do either do the same as the hand one and store them in a mucky bag, or you have this as an option, which is having a on-the-go bag, as I call these. So Cheeky Wipes do three different sizes of these, and these are small, medium, you can see the size difference, small, medium, and then a large one. Now, the great thing with these wet bags, is what they're actually really called, is that they've got a double pocket, so you can store some clean ones that are ready to go in, say, the front pocket. And then if you're out and about and you want to use them, you take one out, use it. And then when it's mucky, you put it in the back bit there, like so. And then when you get home, you just shove the whole thing in the wash, open, open it up obviously, and shove it in the wash. These are great for when you're going out and about, but also if you don't want to buy the boxes, these are a great alternative. Now, what I did do in the beginning was I would store wet ones in the front and put the dirty ones in the back and just do like a day's worth every day. But actually I was getting through so many because we're cloth nappy and we don't use any disposable wipes anymore that I just went for the boxes and they work really well for me. But in fact, having these handy in and around the house are really, really useful. You can also use these for cloth sanitary products, for your makeup pads. Um, and they're good because they've got a little clip there so you can clip it round um, like your basket for cloths if you've got dry cloths or your makeup remover pads uh, and it stays there and then you just take it off when it's full and wash it. And that is it. It's pretty simple and if you've got any questions feel free to ask. Um, I use a one box like this for my cloth nappies and then I just put them in the cloth nappies and store them in the storage bin. Another thing what you can do is just store dry wipes into a little, this is from Ikea, I think it's like a napkin holder, and then attach a little bag around the outside there and then when they use they just pop them in and you can just disconnect that then. I think this is a really good idea for kids who are three and older because they get used to then cleaning up after themselves. I call it my snot station <laughs> because if we've got a snotty nose, we use these instead of tissues and then they just pop them in there and then I just wash them the same. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. It covers pretty much everything that you need to know about Cheeky Wipes and wipes and their storage. But if there is anything else, drop me a comment below and I will try my best to answer. Don't forget the disc in the description I've popped a link that'll take you straight there. If you did enjoy this video or it was helpful at all, then please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. I've got lots of videos and content going up three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. Sometimes I pop some other stuff up as well. But I'd love to have you here and take care. Have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!